Hi, I'm Heidi Joy Trethaway with the OpenStack Foundation, and I'm here with Graham Hayes from the Designate Project uh, as part of our Metaka design series. Graham, would you tell us a little bit about yourself, please? Hi, I, I'm the new incoming PTO for the Metaka cycle for Designate. I've been involved in Designate for about two and a half years, and I live in Dublin, Ireland, and work for Hewlett Packard Enterprise. So could you please give us a snapshot of what is Designate and what does it do? Designate is a DNS as a service. So traditionally in enterprises or in companies, DNS is something that's quite difficult to do. Users have to find a ticket with IT or, or they have to go edit text files on some server and do that all manually. So what Designate does is it provides an easy to use API that's multi-tenanted, so multiple users can all create, create DNS zones and records while being segregated from each other, but then use the same server infrastructure to push them out to the internet. So basically we make what is something that could be quite complex, easy to use, and something that allows end users to, to actually directly update instead of having the bottleneck of traditional IT. We're excited to hear more about the hot topics that your team discussed in Tokyo um, and interested to learn what decisions or outcomes um, came out of these discussions. Designate has been going through a large amount of re-architecture. We started out in the beginning with one way of talking to different DNS servers which we changed up between Kilo and Liberty. Um, so the hot topics were the gaps left from that. And um, there was also a sizable chunk of people who were looking for DNSSEC and for a technology called IXFR, which is allowed, which is incremental zone transfers. So these were the hot topics for, for Mitaka. Uh, we spent the majority of the two days talking about the talking about these. Um, and finally have a roadmap. We have a an idea of where, what we're going to do for this cycle and the priorities, the relative priorities for those. Well then, um, tell us more about what the user needs or problems that your team wanted to solve are. Yeah, uh, the user needs are for DNS that people wanted to ensure that the DNS results they get back are 100% correct that they haven't been tampered with. Um, this is going to be a longer, it's probably going to be a two cycle feature. Uh, as it requires us to talk to other open source projects like Barbican. Um, but that's one of the top things we want to solve for users. We also wanted to allow users to interact with Nova and Neutron. So when you boot a VM, when you give the VM a name, it'll have a record in DNS automatically. Um, along with, if you assign a floating IP, that, that, that'll be available for DNS as well. So these are the two big things that users were asking us to do. Uh, one of which the integration with Nova Neutron is very close to being done, and DNSSEC, which is starting at, and it's our next big feature. So what are the top three or four features that we can look forward to in the Metaka release? So the top features we can look forward to are the incremental zone transfers, which will allow for the DNS records to be updated on the DNS servers a lot quicker. So when you make an API request to create a domain or update, a, update a, a record, it'll be active so users can access it a lot quicker. We will be enabling the pool scheduler, so if you say you have a large amount of <laughs> DNS zones, there's some people who, who are looking at designate who have millions of zones, and they want to spread them across a, a, very, a larger group of DNS servers, this will allow users to, or operators to set up two or three different pools and have users scheduled across the pools. So what is the key theme or themes that your project aims to achieve in Metaka? So one of, which, one of the themes we're aiming for is modularity. We are increasing the amount of DNS servers that we support. And we're also breaking down what used to be a couple of very large services into smaller services that allow for tasks to be distributed across different uh, d different machines. This also ties in then into resiliency because it allows us to have 
and the, the repetitive task that Desnet does run across a larger group of machines. So if we lose one, it doesn't really matter if the rest of the machines will take the load. Um, which also then ties into scalability. We found that if you can scale out horizontally without a huge amount of problems, resiliency automatically goes up, not automatically goes up, but is can benefit greatly from the work done for scalability. Um, for manageability, we are currently improving our Horizon plugin panels. So hope that should be done over the next cycle or so to update them and make them more user friendly. Um, it's the, the current panels we have were at the very beginning. So it's always good to put something out into the, into the hands of users and get feedback about what they'd like to change. So we're taking that feedback now and updating the panels with it. Well, thank you um, very much for joining us, Grim, and we look forward to what Designate's going to bring us in the Metaka release. No problem. Thank you very much for having me.